We've been in the mining industry for probably 30 odd years now. The nine common streams used in the mining industry, the biggest ones are probably uh, in the cooling systems, compressors and fridge plants. Um, another one is flocculation systems, both underground and on surface. We supply the chemicals and the actual engineering that goes with that. Um, sewage plants are very common on mining villages and during the construction phase. Um, and then disinfection chemicals on the streams that they discharge into rivers or streams. We've been doing sand filtration, mixed media filtration, all those types of ways of treating water to remove suspended matter. Um, and recently we've, we've gone into the area of membrane technology to achieve the same thing. There are three types of uh, membrane technology. There's reverse osmosis technology, nanofiltration, and ultrafiltration. And I think everybody more or less knows about reverse osmosis. Um, nanofiltration is, is something new, but it's, it uh, is quite like reverse osmosis. Ultrafiltration, however, is, is something new. It's used very much in wa potable water treatment um, because it has certain advantages over mixed media filtration. Some of those are, it will remove particles down to the macromolecular level and also remove viruses, bacteria, um, the, the kind of things that people are very wary of when they drink water. But it does not remove the good things from water, like the calcium and the magnesium, stuff like that. So. Um, that's just one of the advantages. It, it, it also has a much smaller footprint than your conventional sand filtration systems. And that's the advantage for small applications. What we do is we put these into modular containerized treatment plants, which are essentially plug and play. And we can then take them and put them anywhere in Africa. So there's a, there's a mobility um, side to that, which is an advantage you know, to, to places where mining occurs in rural areas in Africa.